a time to visit your physician to get your memory assessed is typically when folks are considered quote unquote a senior, right? And and oftentimes we we use that age as as sixty five and above. Do not wait till you know you're at a certain age. Uh, anytime you start to be concerned with your memory, whether you're 50, 60, or above, definitely bring it up to the physician to check out, especially if you have a family history, or especially if you knew you were genetically predisposed to Alzheimer's. Uh, those are the times to bring it up early for the sake of discussing lifestyle activities that can be done, prevention opportunities with lifestyle, or even to get an annual memory test or cognition test, which we recommend on a regular basis once you're a senior. When I see someone that I suspect may have Alzheimer's, we go through a battery of tests, what we call a workup. And that workup includes evaluating them and getting their uh, their history of what their symptoms are. We would assess if they have a family history of Alzheimer's. Part of the physical exam that we do when evaluating someone with potential Alzheimer's disease includes starting off with asking them questions about their, their lifestyles, their family history, if they have genetic history they know about, We'll also ask them about their social history. Do you drink alcohol? Do you smoke drugs? Things of that sort. We'll also go over past medical history, past surgical history, a list of medications that they take and review that in detail. The brain imaging that is often done when we suspect dementia or Alzheimer's disease includes CAT scans and MRIs of the brain. Specifically for the MRI, we look for any other reasons that can cause memory problems. Is there a stroke? Is there poor circulation in the brain? Is there a tumor in the brain that may be there? So we look for other anatomical changes in the brain other than possibly Alzheimer's disease when we do this. We do neurological examinations. I would check their cranial nerves. I would check their reflexes. I would check their motor strength. Their sensory a sensation and things of that sort, a complete neurological exam is included. Some ways to prepare for a visit with your physician when you're going to be evaluated for a cognitive concern, a memory loss concern, would be, uh, first of all, be prepared with a list of questions you may want to ask your healthcare provider uh, with that. And uh, just to avoid any medications that may cause you to be groggy on the day of the examination. Some of that could be, you know, the side effects of certain medications, whether it's sleeping pills or pain pills and things of that sort, because you want to be uh, at your baseline. And that's the first thing to do is to go to your doctor and look to see if the problem is even there in the first place. Uh, and that's the key to early detection. This disease is missed Often, our focus is on to bring awareness and early detection.